Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed next. And let's jump into your reading. That's very angels, guys. Messages for Sagittarius regarding their connection. As always, it's going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching, so just keep that in mind. Moved my tripod a little bit. Spirit, what is going on for Sagittarius and love? Love. So we're going to look at your connection first. What's going on between you? Spirit, what's going on between Sagittarius and this other person? What's going on between Sagittarius and this other person? what's going on for you guys oh we have the fool the lovers wow Gemini energy so this is definitely taking a leap of faith here in regarding a partner this could also be a choice that someone's making they're following their heart and therefore taking a risk a leap of faith or this is more of a logical decision, planning for something new here. Let's see. This could be something new coming in as well. Tell me about the fool. What's the fool? Three of Pentacles. What can you tell me about this fool? Seven of Swords. Interesting. So this is a strategic move, or at least, I don't know. It's like someone's being very clever about this. I have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, hmm. Strategic, but also, it's not just them being clever. They're also working on this. So this could be someone who is willing to put in the work into this connection. Perhaps they're putting in some, you know, energy, time. This could be a connection that builds over time. Why the Seven of Swords? I'm just curious. It could be an obstacle that someone's trying to, like, get around here. Fear, Eight of Swords, or some sort of stuck energy. So someone I feel is... um trying to overcome their fear or not let their fear stop them here. If there is an obstacle where someone is stuck, they're thinking and working around that. This could be you or your person. What's going on with the lovers? What's going on here? Nine of Wands. Page of Wands, this is definitely something new. Uh, if this is someone from the past, then this is like a new start for you and this other person because I have the full of the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands starts something new or is bold enough to, to take a few steps forward. Whereas the Page of Pentacles is more of like a planner, a thinker, um, you know, a risk averse, the Page of Wands is like, let's just go for it. Now in this particular deck, I'm not really crazy about the design for the Nine of Wands because this does not look anything like what the Nine of Wands should be representing, but the Nine of Wands is a card about going through a lot and still hanging in there, being beat up, um, worn out, and now your guard is up because you, you're on the defensive after everything you've been through. So I feel like there's maybe some hesitation here when it comes to this connection because it's new. This could be very passionate. The chemistry could be very hot here. So let's see how you are thinking or feeling about each other. What are your energies? Spirit, tell me more about Sagittarius and this other person. 
Tell me more about Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm gonna have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Tell me more about Sagittarius. What are their energies in this connection? Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Yeah, there's this is something new happening. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay. Can we have unhealthy attachment? Can I get one more for this person? Can I get one more for this person, please? Judgment call. So some of you are dealing with a person who has some sort of obstacle in their um, environment right now. Can I get one more for, uh, energy for this person, please? this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Successful, accomplished, and stable. I always get this card. So this could be somebody who already has like a good job, is well off, or this is important to them. Maybe this is how they appear to you. Bottom of the deck, abundance, blessings, and prosperity. There could be something here to do with money. Maybe this person's really well off, or this is, um, they're really focused on something stable. So like a commitment, um, a long-term commitment. I'm picturing the 10 of pentacles here. Okay. Let's get a secret moon oracle deck, and then we'll jump into the tarot for this person. Actually, I will jump in for you, but I just want to get this an idea of this person. Can I get one card, please, for the person that Sagittarius is dealing with? Whatever this unhealthy attachment is, I feel like someone's making a decision, uh, some sort of judgment call here. This could even be something official. Can I get one card, please, for this person that Sagittarius is dealing with? I wasn't honest with you. Hmm. So I feel like you kind of know this person already, but maybe they didn't tell you everything when you met. Again, I, I feel like this is still, like there's still a, like new energy around here. So we'll see what all of this is about. Let's see, what do I wanna use for you? Actually, for some reason I wanna use this deck. Okay. Okay, let's start with you Sagittarius. Spirit, tell us more. What is Sagittarius thinking of for you? What's going on with Sagittarius at this time? When it comes to this person or this connection, what's going on with Sagittarius? We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Three of Cups and the Star. Aquarius energy. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. So I feel like this is someone who is imagining, fantasizing, daydreaming about how to come together and heal something, start something new. Um, I don't know if there was a third party here. Um, but I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking when it comes to this connection. What's with the Seven of Cups? Can I get one more spirit for the Seven of Cups? The Chariot. So imagining how to move forward towards success. Cancer energy. Thinking of a path to success. How can this work? How to make this work? Page of Cups. And I feel like there's a lot of um, feelings here. Um, a lot of emotional, con like an emotional connection here to this person. Um, 
This could be, you know, once again with the Page of Cups, I'm thinking like a, a new start, something new here. Expressing how you feel about each other. Why the star? This could be a wish, a desire that you have, or this could be about healing. Why is the star here? Yeah, three of swords. I feel like you're wanting to heal heartbreak or disappointment. Tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Ace of wands. So once again, I'm getting like a reunion here and there's the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you could be wanting to reunite with the past or a soulmate or a past life connection someone that you just feel a very strong connection with or to okay so i feel like your energy is very clear it's very clear um let me know if that's resonating if you would like to have some sort of healing or new beginning with the past okay i want to use this deck for your person Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with or thinking about at this time, Spirit. What are their energies? Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Again, cards about something new. This is a serious discussion about you know, an offer here. Can I get one more, please? Tell me more about this person. Oh my God. Okay, the Ace of Wands. And then at the bottom of the deck, just so that you can see, is the star. So I feel like you're both on the same page. Um, I feel like you both desire the same thing. Uh, there's an obstacle here on, on your person's part, I feel, but this is, this is the goal. This is the, the motivation here is something new, something passionate, stable, honest. Tell me more about these Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, just all together. Okay. So we have the Hangman. Can I get some more on these Aces? Eight of Wands. And I feel like your person is also imagining or thinking about how to move forward here, how to grow, manifest. They could be thinking about talking to you if you are this Empress energy. What's with this Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, so Page of Swords. So this is about communication, okay? I feel like they have something to tell you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What do they want to tell you? What's this about? Okay, King of Wands. So this is about what they want to make happen here. This could be a very... Um, Interesting conversation. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Can I get one more, please? Spare wise ace, eight, eight of Wands here. Yeah, this is again, okay, you're marrying each other once again. We have the Three of Cups. So it's almost like they want to like meet up. <laughs> Let's meet up and talk. Let's talk about what I want to do with you. I know it sounds so scandalous, but. That's what I'm getting. It's, it's almost like this King of Wands wants to tell you what his plan is, what he wants. And whatever this is, it has something to do with a new beginning here. Starting something new, maybe reuniting to start something new here. I feel like both of your energies are very clear. Um, and you're in tune with each other, connected in some way. Uh, I don't know if you've been talking about this, if you talked about this in the past, if you're just linked somehow, because you're both thinking the same thing. Tell me about this hangman. 
I feel like your person's not really taking action right now with this hangman. Okay, we got the five of pentacles. I feel like they're having some sort of personal struggle. Why is the hangman here? And I'm wondering, like, why, why did I get this I wasn't honest with you card? So they probably had some sort of ending. Um, or this is what's going to happen. Difficulty, you know? The hangman could be that they're thinking about what needs to happen in order to gain this these three aces. Because after the ten of swords comes the ace of swords. So, um, and the ten of swords is obviously going to be something... A difficult cycle that's coming to an end. It won't be easy. I have the Five of Pentacles here as well. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the Strength card. So almost like this is somebody that needs to have courage for what is happening or needs to happen. It could be also that they want to tell you this, you know, what, what needs to happen in order for them to move forward and accomplish their goal because the king of wands is a doer they do things so this is not somebody that just wants to talk can i get some insight please into this hangman queen of wands and then there's a star again bottom of the deck so uh, i'm thinking this queen of wands could be you i have the king of wands here and then he's looking directly at this queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So whatever this ending is, it's related to you. So for example, if they're ending a cycle in their life and struggling, it's because they've done that for you or they've done that um, alongside you. You know, like they, they had to do this in order for this to move forward with you. Can I get um, a card about I wasn't honest with you? Spirit, this is bothering me. Give me some insight into this energy spirit for your Sagittarius. I wasn't honest with you. Okay, so this has something to do with effort or work. They weren't honest with you about how much time, energy, or focus they were going to put into something. Or they weren't honest with you about employment in some way, what they were working on, um... This could even be schoolwork or an education, something like that. They might have presented themselves to be somebody that they weren't um, or kept something from you about this. Let me know if that resonates down in the comments. Oops. So let's see, where's all of this headed in the near future? I could tell you there's some sort of um, obstacle here. I can tell that it's this hangman energy. It could be an unhealthy attachment like we have up there. It could be, excuse me, a third party because we did have the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups. Three of Swords came out, I mean, Three of Cups came out again over here. All right, Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Sagittarius and this person in the near future. Where is all of this headed in the near future? What's next for this connection? We have the Five of Pentacles. What's next for this connection? It's going to be some sort of difficulty. Oh, the Hierophant. Taurus Energy. So this connection could be leading to a commitment. Or this Five of Pentacles is tied to another commitment of some sort. Oh, and then we have Death. Scorpio Energy. So there's definitely an ending coming in the near future here. But, you know, I feel it's necessary because we have all these aces, all this all this talk about new beginnings. And that can only happen, you know, a door can only open when another one closes, right? You can't just leave all these doors open, you know, in your past and then think that you can just keep having new beginnings. Typically, that's not how, how cycles work. And death is definitely a card about cycles. It's a card about endings and beginnings they're kind of connected um this ending will bring about some sort of change some sort of transformation um thank you so much for watching sagittarius i really hope you enjoyed the reading 
If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment saying hello. It's a free way of supporting the channel. Plus, I like hearing from you so that I don't feel like I'm just talking to this table. So thank you so much to everyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me a kind comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, sometimes these comments make my day. So thank you to everyone that does that. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.